Hello everyone, welcome to Artel Studio and this is Anuja and today we are going to create a beautiful picture of Krishna and Radha. So this is actually the extension of our Pachwai series that we are doing. The workshop is still available and you can view if you have not viewed it before. In this, I am creating the face of Krishna. This is on an A3 size paper. And I'm just making a rough sketch. If you want to know how to create the face, I think we have discussed in the day one on the basic strokes and the formation of the face. Here, the face is divided into three parts. The forehead, nose and the lip and the chin. These are the three portions. The very flowy and the lotus bud kind of eyes. So just plotting it to the half side of the A3 size paper and we will go with the detailing in painting and drawing both. So chalking out the ear started from the place where the eye is and ended to the nose. That is generally the proportion of the face and the ear and give you can actually give a very whatever turban gear you want to put it for the hair, a crown Whatever, whichever phase you want to see for Krishna, you can actually put it here. I am doing it in a turban. So more of the cloth will be seen. That will add more color to it. And yes, a peacock feather. Some brooches, some ornamentation, some pearls. And over accessorizing the picture is what we will do for this uh, painting. I'm just using a regular pencil to give it a little bit of drawing. If in case it gets difficult for you, you can also take a tracing sheet and do it for the faces. But Pichwai faces are actually very different from the other art forms. Every art form has a very distinctive style. So it's very important for us to catch that style. Here I'm just giving few lines where I will be doing the jewelry part. I am not creating any detail work in the jewellery right now because it will come later after the base colour is done. So this is my Krishna a rough sketch ready. Now I am going to draw the other face very adjacent to him and that is going to be Radha. So just to show a little femininity, a little shyness, I will bend the face a little downwards whereas for the man you will see that it's a little broad, the jaw is very nicely seen, the squarish face. Small variations you will see while I'll complete the Radha's face. Slightly bent and here also the eyes are very much the same. The lid is a little down showing that emotion or the eternal love or whatever you say it's like a very soft feminine uh, beauty. Just adjusting a little. It's always better to use your pencil and draw the first few lines where you can make the adjustments or you can uh, come up with great ideas while you're making something because generally when we start doing it, actually it happens to me. When I start drawing, the whole picture is just an idea to me. Once I start drawing, it slowly takes the place and... Yeah, I do a lot of improvisation while I'm in the process of drawing. So here, just giving it a little smaller lips, a softer nose, lid a little down. So those things will add to the beauty of this. The shoulders, ornamentations will come later. Just giving some area where I will be doing those ornamentations. When we see Pichwai paintings, we see that is a, there is a whole lot of uh, work for the pearls and the stone jewellery. That is a very, very uh, wide uh, thing that we see. It's always there. The colours are very muted and beautiful. The blending is soft. A lot of transparency and layering is done. For the painting of this, I am taking poster colors. You can take any brand. I am creating 
a little wash by taking cerulean blue and white mixing it with water i'm giving using synthetic brush i'm giving it a little wash to the base of the face so it's not very uh, finished yet just lay down your color so that you can work yourself over it by the shades so one base color will cover the face and then we will make a little darker and a little lighter color to create the highlights and the depths so the shadows or the highlighted portion of the face so the cheeks are actually a little highlighted all the time because of the plump of the cheek and i am adding a lighter color as a base i will be blending it the beauty of the poster color is as soon as you mix some water it will blend beautifully it doesn't dry permanent it gives its pigments once the water is um, in contact with it so taking that to our benefit we are creating the values slowly now just taking the dark color to give the outlines i have give, given the outlines and now i will give the highlights for the highlights a very light shade of blue more of white is added So when we see it in a strict profile of the side face, we see that the light is falling from front. And these portions will get highlighted. <coughs> see to it while you are doing that you do it in a manner where you know very minimum lines are seen. Here coming to the cloth part. So I am taking the red and the yellow. And creating the darker just adding the red lines first and yellow in the end. Work yourself while both the colors are wet so that they give you a beautiful blend between. I am taking a thicker brush to do this it is a round brush 6 and a flat 4 to fill in the gaps in the middle I will be doing some areas with a highlighted light a very light form of yellow to give the shine and the highlighted effect in the cloth also so here I have added a white to yellow lemon yellow and giving that highlighted form using a thin brush not intending to blend everything here so that the folds remain very mm. distinctive so not all the folds are drawn if you want you can actually draw it also if you want a little more clarity on where you will be doing i just generally do a little bit of the drawing filling in the yellow while my red is already wet so this is the base color and now I'll be adding the darker and the lighter tones to give it beautiful shine. So here again, it is white plus lemon yellow, giving the highlights. So small blending and the same thing goes for the other part of the turban. Now this is in the combination of a uh, contrast and I'm taking the green, green and yellow mix to give it a double tone like a two colors in the same turban. I just fill in with a base color. Generally when we work on anything be it acrylic or be it poster colors, I generally take it as a base color then i do the layering layering and adding the light and dark values later giving highlights and creating the details so one portion is often uh, reworked four times so this is my second when i'm creating a little dark and then light and creating the folds the third will come when i will be adding a little more highlights and the later fourth layer will be little touch-ups and fine lines so it's important for us to 
uh, shift at places from the turban I came to the lips because definitely I had on my palette I have the red handy and then that's why so one color I take and then I work myself on different places wherever necessary so after doing the lip just add a little to the corner the pinkish uh, shade to the corner of the eye and a little bit of warmth in the face so I'm giving it a little shade work a very diluted uh, color so that it the blue is seen through it so it's a very transparent wash coming to the hair what I've taken is a brown a poster color brown and mixed a little bit of black to get the umber shade the burnt umber shade this is very important as the base because all the hair that I will be doing all the strokes will come later with a thinner brush and uh, to create a lot of layering and values in the hair so if you just uh, if you just uh, do the black it looks very uh, it looks like a black block over there so it doesn't give you that real effect so a little bit of lighter browns uh, not lighter actually but yes the browns which is mixed with black and then now here I'm adding few details with the black after adding those hair I'll take my same black to do the to work on the finer lines as I said I work it on three four layers to get the results so if you uh, work in this manner you will be able to achieve beautiful results and wonderful shading also taking a very fine brush uh, I actually plotted but yeah hardly we can see it now it's the peacock feather that is always there on the crown or whatever it is a crown a pagri or a turban taking sap green and doing my base work I have created layers here with sap green browns and Persian blue now giving highlights with yellow while I was recording I actually forgot my um, the video to be kept on at this time and this is a very crucial place where it I couldn't capture it so but later we'll do it someday now again the third where I am creating the fine lines to uh, give a contrast not very thick but a diluted form so that we can see through the color so the yellow is not covered at all it is seen I hope uh, you are liking this if you are liking it do press the like uh, and write your comments and so that I get to know uh, about your feelings how do you feel about it and yes subscribe to the channel and support it please share it with others and if you have not visited my Instagram do visit it all the links will be in the comment uh, all the links will be there in the description box those who want to join us on the whatsapp group can message me on Facebook page So now with uh, plain white poster color, I'm creating the pearls. They are very important. Even if we do some colors for the pearls, light color pearls, then also the base has to be white. And if we use very little water, it is very, very opaque and you cannot see the color which is down there. 
so even if it is over the hair or any dark color you can easily uh, make your pearls by brush or by any dotting tool or any pointed thing that you have take different sizes of dotting tools and make your dots so I'm creating one uh, the ornamentation on the hair I'm using my brush to give different shapes be it circle or teardrops I will be adding a lot of color to it and a lot of jewelry detailing see to it when you are doing the pearls it should the color should not be transparent or diluted to water it should be very very opaque so that they all stand bright if you have not visited uh, my channel there are other other uh, workshops as well which are dedicated to the folk arts of india and all the tutorials I hope you like it so please visit it and so Warli Art, Madhupani there are full courses available for you. Here creating some more detailings by adding dollops and small teardrop shapes you can do any exercisation whichever you want. I'm creating a little bit of shade to the pearls which is a like peachy pink color and small highlight so since the light is facing from uh, is uh, from the front all the depth is on the back side so you see that the forehead the nose and the chin is highlighted with white the same thing happens for the pearls the light is striking for the uh, from the other side and the darker tones are on the other so shadows and highlights are very important to create that high realistic kind of a look You can add any sort of design in pitchy we also do a lot of gold work for which i have uh, shown you in my previous videos what all gold gold paints and gold foils and gold uh, leaves you can use for different art forms if you want to use gold for your picture you can refer to that video adding some color for the main gems and this will add a little brightness to the picture now coming to the garland generally we see garlands in many of the paintings idols or humans or gods we see that the flower decoration is was actually the only decoration uh, there and of course yeah too much of jewelry so here what i'm doing is i'm adding the white and giving the hint of these blue work yourself on wet on wet technique while your base is wet you can actually add the other color so that it gives some merging effects and it gives a very softer look so creating that uneven border to create to show the fluff of the flowers and the 3d of uh, 3d image of the garland you can layer it and add values to your image so again blue and white I'm reworking again and again and now few 
places to add some color so here it is yellow for yellow also i've added yellow and then i will be working with a lighter color uh, sorry darker color which is the green so green and yellow gives a very beautiful section in this which adds to the brightness of the garland so the main thing is that in the center of the garland in the middle of the garland you will see that it is rounded so the highlight will stay in the middle now this color is orange this method that i'm using is just uh, stippling stippling is a method where we just put dots not exactly very well formed dots but yes whatever the brush stroke is just keep on overlapping the dots and that is a stipple effect We see that in Indian paintings, we see that the gods and the goddesses both are um, heavily, uh, heavily um, beautified or rather they use a lot of jewelry So doing that. Now this is the Upavastra or the cloth that is on the shoulder. I'm creating a pink shade so adding the light color as a highlight which is white while my red is wet still and working myself to get the folds of the dupatta it's really easy when you have both the colors wet and you just take a dry brush and rub through that is also very easily achievable so if you are a learner or a beginner, I mean like beginner who has a little hitch, always keep a rough sheet and take the two colors, see the blending. Once you are happy with it, you can work yourself on the final picture. Now this is a yellow color that I am putting it on the forehead. We see at many times that was the chandan that was applied for the forehead. And I will not be blending it so it is just applied so just leaving it like that now it's time for us to do the Radha Our Krishna is in the blue shade of blue and now it's the Radha and we are going to do the, the skin tone. For that I've taken white, yellow, orange and brown. I will be creating four shades here which I will sh show you. So mixing brown and orange to give it a skin tone color and now I will dilute it with white I will mix it with white to create different grades of color so I'll show you here one is very light and in one section you'll see two lighter colors and in the other section you'll see two dark shades so here one section has two light shades and here on the other side it has two dark shades which I will be using to create the effects of like a little 3D or real kind of a picture. Because in Pichwai we do not see block colors, we do not see flat colors, we do a lot of shade work.
so again my base colors are there and now the I will be adding the tones I'm giving it a very smooth cover when you will uh, when you will add the first tone you will see that your brush strokes are seen later when you work rework yourself it will all go now as we did the face here I did the face this side also on the front side you will see that the forehead nose and the chin is having the white or the lighter shade and eyes to create the effect I just did it with Sina Sina or the brown for the hair also I gave a base color as brown as we did for Krishna but the colors here are very subtle not sharp the eyes are also very subtle so no sharp lines sharp lines when I say I mean that it should not be very high contrasting and this layering will help us to get it in a very warm manner very soft look so now here also I'm adding black but the first layer was the skin then the brown and then the black this will always add a very different effect to your painting so trust me do not take black as the first color now with a thin brush I am working myself for the hair giving it some wavy look and curls so Take a very fine brush you can dilute your color so that it gets runny and you get fine strokes the other side you can just fill your black with a flat brush here I've changed my brush to a flat so that I can just cover up the whole thing But this layering of brown and black will always give beautiful results for hair. Now I'm going to the dupatta and I'm creating just white base. First is the base color. I want it to be very light and that's the reason I'm doing it white. It's very soft baby pink color. So after doing the white, while it's wet, I'm adding a light pink color so that the light pink definitely will get even lighter. While it is wet, I'm working myself again so to give the, to spread the color on the side. I will be creating folds in the dupatta. The colors of the dress, dupatta, uh, dressing, can be changed the accessories the the ornamentation the jewelry design is up to you to do it is just that the pearls have a very uh, has a great importance and pearls is the main feature that in the jewelry part now here again I'm adding the other side generally in pitch why we see all the women are covering their head with dupattas so whatever they are wearing, the head is all the time covered. So this very soft shade, just make one line with the pink. If in case you feel that your color has dried, just dip your brush in water and rework yourself. Creating the border with yellow, this is lemon yellow. If you want, you can also use gold as I already said. I'm not using any gold for this picture. But yes, all the places where I wanted that gold, I'm just giving it a little yellow color. Now this is a brown, a little lighter brown, which is mixed with the skin color. 
where I did the eyes and the nose and the hair the same color to give a little shade. My base color has already dried but even if your color has dried you can just put a little bit of shade, dilute your color and rework yourself again. So your color has to be very very transparent so that it is not blocking the base it is just giving it a little shade i'm giving the values to the nose the corner of the lips to make that beautiful soft smile so the areas of the back side of the face or the corner of the face is all a little soft in browns So never leave the place for your jewellery, only for the bigger chunks of jewellery, bigger uh, and bolder jewellery, you can leave those blocks, otherwise you can just cover it with the base and later on do your pearls. Generally we see that the ladies or the, the females whosoever is there in the pitch why we see that the nut is there a bigger nut is there so the nose ring they wear nose pin is seen very uh, few times but majorly nose ring bigger jewelry always the earring has a extension over the ear so the it's not just the ear drop or the earring it is just the full piece always a tika on the female's forehead the hair also has a lot of accessory bangles jewelry pile anklets everywhere you will see over accessorization some will also wear a waist um, you know, on the jewelry over the waist Adding the jewellery is the most beautiful work, very satisfying when we see that jewellery is getting um, done. For me, it adds a lot of value and the contrast, it, it looks really beautiful. I enjoy putting these dots and I call it the magic of dots because it takes your picture to the next level. If you are making a very small pitch by definitely you will feel that there is no room to give so much of shading this is the picture only the two faces that I am doing on a3 size so one face actually covers a4 so it's quite big so that I can show you more details on this and pitch wise are actually very big so traditional pitch wise are a very big uh, uh, cloth piece that is hung behind the idol of Sri Nathji in Nathdwara. So that is the basic relevance of Pichwai. Pichwai actually means pitch means piche and Y means cloth. So the cloth that is hung behind the uh, God's idol to give the wholesome view. Now these views were from whatever the theme of the dressing of the idol is, whatever the celebration is. The whole painting is done on that theme. Most, mostly these are on celebration of Krishna's life and devotional aspects. So everything revolves around Krishna. Here it is his uh, childhood days. It is his uh, uh, days when he was in like a very playful spirit and some few days where he rescued people from 
like the Govardhan Puja, they do that. He's lifting up the Govardhan Parvat. So there are a lot many things in his life that needs lot of illustration. There is no end to it. And then that is what Pichwai is all about. We just talk so much. Now Pichwai from that big canvas has moved to very small and everybody can put it in their house. That is the love for Pichwai that we see now. Here in the garland, uh, sorry, in the necklace, you'll see that the pearls or the drops that I've added, there is one side. The, again, the base is there with green. The darkest green is the shadows and the lightest green are the highlights. The same thing I'm doing it for all the places. Now, this is only possible if your picture is relatively bigger. If very small, then one dot is enough to do this. So for, for this picture, I have not opted to take very chunky or very big elaborate. Otherwise, you will see that many of the paintings, big uh, necklaces, big bands or the full chest is covered with it. I have taken it very minimum so that I can see a lot of detailings on the skin and the shades also. Now, taking the brown color, the cyanide, giving, mixing it with little orange to give that shade on the border. It's because the border is on the head, it has a curve. How would we show that? Few portions will be shining, few will be um, in the shade. So we will do a little bit of the shading which I did for the border on yellow. Now again, it's the repetition of the garland as both, both of them are wearing the garlands, green and some color of the flowers and then the base is white. While I was doing this picture, a thought came that I should have taken a very big paper or a very big chart paper because I was so much in in this that I wanted to actually do the full figure but looking at the face of my paper I chose was very small so it was A3 size I would have wished to do it on a bigger chart paper sometime later yes your comments are very crucial to me um, it means a lot when you take out time to write it so please let me know how you feel about this. Any suggestions, any um, any further videos that you want. I am definitely noting everybody's request down and I wish that one day I will be able to finish all the requests. Whatever you want to learn, I will post it for sure. But yeah, maybe uh, it's not coming right now. It will take some time, but yes your request i'm just considering it i'll definitely make those videos you can join me on weekends we do live workshops there are a lot of live workshops you can come in conversation with me and ask me questions and continue watching the videos also the tutorials here i have added few details on the dupatta of uh, radha and some shadows for the garland for the same some outlines now this is totally your take on it, what prints, what motifs, what jal, what overall design or smaller design, how elaborate you wanted to make. I am doing it with the same color, red and adding few fine lines for this. Now over the design I am just running over uh, these lines. So this will again be achieved with the layers. Pitwine definitely needs a little more practice than other art forms which we 
uh, see as uh, which are much easier i would say uh, as compared to the level because this needs a lot of shade work and very fine lines so that will come with practice of course so do not lose your heart do not feel that it's very difficult just give it a try there's no nothing going to go wrong in it i'm taking a dotting tool to do the dots here sometimes i take the brush sometimes this i keep on changing my tools at most of the time dot the best thing in the dotting tools is that you can make the dots in various sizes if you don't have dotting tools and are still wishing to do that my channel has how to make your dotting tools in under 10 rupees so you can have a look at this and you can have your dotting tools forever without spending much money the background i did is black and i'm doing some small flowers to give it a little um, color so these flowers are just like one strokes not very detailed So with this black actually the whole picture has come out very bright so this is the Radha, beautiful radha and this is his krishna so this is how the picture has come out to be i i felt really very satisfied while doing it i don't know how you liked it so please let me know in your comments and stay subscribed with me for further more videos Thanks a lot for your support. I will see you later in my videos and live sessions. Thank you so much. See you soon.